Victoria, Dr. Tony. I am so happy to meet you. We just met a couple minutes ago. We've talked for a so while happy. now, too. Victoria is a yoga instructor. She's been here for a while. She'll tell her story in a second. My biggest thing with these videos, interviews, too, is getting people to understand there are people in your neighborhood that do yoga, that do Pilates, that do anything involved in healthcare. How do you meet them? My interviews hopefully give you a sense of what yoga is today and other professionals, too, so you understand, reach out to your local people. She is independent. She works at a, at a center, too, but she wants to understand how she became a yoga instructor, how she helps you, especially seniors, especially in Claremont, how to get healthier and stay healthy. So tell us your story. Why you became a yoga instructor? What happened? The best thing I can say about yoga is that it changed my life. And I said, if it can change my life, it can change everybody, particularly my age. So I moved to Belize. I lived in Belize for three years. And while the rest of the uh, community uh, was drinking beer and playing darts, I went to the Dragonfly Institute of Holistics and became certified yoga teacher. In Belize? In Belize. Wow. Belize, Central America. Okay. And then from there, too, is that a... NASH certifications, or how does that work? Well, the certification for Belize is unique onto Belize, okay. but okay. it does cross over. And in my former life, of which I have had many, I, I'm a master degree uh, teacher and administrator. Uh, so great. I was able to, to uh, dovetail both of those. Great. And I love okay. teaching. So it seemed a perfect fit for me. And here in Claremont, are you then a certified person in the United States, just to clarify for me. Correct, I am not. Okay. I am okay. not that. Okay. Uh, only from Belize and uh, only from my teaching credential uh, and, and right. administration. Perfect. So, so that's how it works. Yeah. And with your experience, when was that? How many how many days ago? How many days ago would translate into, well, I spent 2012, which is a very spiritual day in the life of some people's communities, on top of a Mayan pyramid. Okay. And it was right around 2012. Okay. So it's, yeah. all, it's been about probably... How many years is that? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Five years. Good. Yeah. And with that experience too, what have you seen locally that you've helped, or what kind of what what's a benefit of yoga to someone who's never even tried yoga before? What's a good way to get their feet wet? That's probably the the biggest the biggest help that I can offer, because my community of senior citizens and youngers. All never quite know how to start. Exactly. What do you, you wait for? And I'll tell you this: there is a lot of yoga studios in the area. They're popping up all over the place. We talk about L.A. or New York. Yeah. They're actually huge, hot They're yoga, whatever incredible. it might be. Incredible. But I decided that how can we help somebody reach a hand out, lift them into the community of yoga by demystifying it. Exactly. Because a lot of the yoga terminology Good. comes from Sanskrit, that's ancient, ancient language, yeah. and people are, that's intimidating. And exactly. then we have the certain ways in which the poses are done. We don't concentrate as much on this pose has to be conducted in this manner. We <laughs> concentrate more on where is your body right now because a lot of people i'll tell you senior citizens in particular will say you know victoria i haven't felt my feet in years what does that mean <laughs> i don't even think i'm in my body and my feet are sore all the time and they aren't honestly they haven't breathed there hasn't been there hasn't been a, a total integration of mind body with spirit and by the way that's the definition of yoga in parts, you're saying basically it's not about getting the pose right. Oh, no. It's about your body feeling right. Right. It's about you feeling comfortable that, that no matter the age I'm at, let's start. Let's begin. Let's start breathing. Let's make make a difference in your level of, of and quality of life. And what is what is breathing entail with yoga? Yoga is mean? so, so important. Number one, we know how important oxygen is. Yes. We know in the cities we have a little bit lower level yeah. of oxygen. And most people have forgotten how to breathe. And what so does that mean? we yeah. have uh, all this lung capacity from here all the way down. And we're doing these little shallow breaths. And then we get nervous. And, and, and shallow even or shallow or good word. Yeah, Sorry, made it up. and we we want to teach people, and there's a way you can breathe and and 
push out your belly, your core, and breathe out and put, like an accordion almost, like a bellows. What does that do for you when you do that? When if you, you learn can how to get do that? to breathe, you can release some of those neck aches and headaches because your body's saying, I'm starved for oxygen. We breathe in through our nose, we breathe out through our mouth, pursed lips, and pretty soon people can integrate. Once we learn how to breathe, a pose and a stretch with a breath. When do I take a breath? Oh, I take it when I'm doing the exertion. You learn that as you go. But you don't know that initially. So I take them in, sit them down in their chair. We do a wonderful chair yoga class. I've heard a lot about this. My, one of my <laughs> patients, Barbara, she sees Victoria a lot and understands for the last five, six years. So we seen. have, and we have enjoyed watching her progress because we come in, we come in, and we're sort of hobbling and feeling a little bit like, I don't know where this is. <laughs> We won't tell them that, right? Sorry about that. And and then we we sit in the chair. We don't go down on the floor. My 90-year-old mom says, I will not go on the floor. Good. I will never. But boy, has she made progress. I've got a story someday to tell people. Well, I want to see more videos of your mom doing yoga, too, which is phenomenal. That would be great. And being from a health perspective, too, the yeah. breathing for me allows your body to get more oxygen. That's when your body does relax more. It gives you more range of motion, more movement, so you become less stressed. And that was just going to say, the stress Sorry, just drains up. away. We're in sync. Simon that's it, that's it. And then you literally, in class, can hear my students go, oh. and there I'll turn to them and I'll say, from teacher days, yes. you just got a gold star in your paper. Fantastic. Because I heard that breath. We all know what that is. We all know what gold stars are. <laughs> and a lot of it is yeah. when you get people to relax, the ability to handle more stress becomes yeah. easier too, correct? I think that handling more stress, although we don't like to think about yeah, that, is a part there. of our, it's part of our culture. Sorry, it's, just it's with us. So, how can we talk about handling more stress, stress, and getting those muscles to recover more quickly? Huge. And Huge. I, I, I see these miracles every day in my Explain class. Explain a miracle or, or example of one that you want people to hear. My, my, my mantra is I am balanced, I am strong. What does that mean? And I stand on my t two feet. We do stand it even in chair yoga we stand. Yes, good. We press our toes, we press our heels, we press the, the other corners. So we have eight points on our feet that we're breathing. We imagine all the way into our feet and then we say i am strong i am balanced and my one of my yoga students actually fell into a sunken living room at, at christmas time okay. and that mantra came up to her mind wow this is a lady in her 80s and she said i am strong i am balanced as she was falling and yeah. recovered her balance so it, not that's i would say prevents falls but it allows your body to have better right. balance so you right. can prevent falls. Right. What I train my patients is how do you get strong or flexible so you can have better balance. Wow. And, and that that's is... exactly the same paradigm working with yoga too. What's the number one like... fear when we're babies? The fear of falling. falling. Yeah. What's the number one fear when we get to be in our 80s? The mm -hmm. fear of falling. Because what does falling mean? Injury, lose your independence, yes. maybe move into a home or with family, and that's not the goal, correct? When no we get good. Older. We do okay. not want that. That is not quality of life that I think or you think. Good. So a lot of it is how do we get people to get healthier, yeah. stay healthy, and maintain a regimen so their body can maintain that and not having to lose your independence. Even when we're yeah. stressed on those days, yeah. because there are days when, let's face it, you know, that trip to the doctor, that we yeah. got to get into Los Angeles airport, ah, but they exactly. can do it. They Especially do in the it. holidays too. And just think of the independence of being able to continue driving. Well, and, and that's huge. And, and when you mm -hmm. lose that, especially in Southern California, you lose your mobility period. You have to depend on somebody else or pay someone to pick you up and drop you off. That's hard to do here. There's no really, I mean, to be honest with you, no public transportation that's available for most people. Isn't that, yeah, that's a whole other video, that's, right? That's there. a whole other video. <laughs> we'll hold off on that one. That's right. And that's I think right. a lot of what you're trying to help people understand is how do you get yourself healthy right. so you maintain that on your own by understanding how to keep your body healthy? Bodies need to have that balance, including a little bit of relaxation, which we do a 15, 10 to 15 minute guided meditation at the end of every class. I do yoga once a week and, and I've, I've fallen off a little bit myself. Vinyasa yoga. You're invited. And a lot of it is, is how do you, in my sense, in that class, was how do you hold a pose 
and work your body through work by it. But the end part is huge because if your body can relax and breathe through that, you walk away with what? Well, you're empowered. I think that's no. What does that mean? As empowered, saying, you know, I can negotiate this narrow path without tripping. I can take a nice deep breath. I can go out and have whatever I'd like to to drink right now. Maybe it's rum from Belize. I don't know. It's up to you guys. (laughs) I'm I'm more of a water guy myself. But water would be really (laughs) indicated there. And and I don't have that, that chronic ache, that pain. And how I interpret that for my patients is you have the confidence to get out there and do things without hurting yourself. Great. You I lose can take that, that fear. Walk. I you can... lose that fear and do things because actually you have more confidence. Wow. Huge. Yeah. When no. we're sitting in a movie theater for two hours and we haven't moved, yeah. how many of us at a certain age go, I gotta stand now. The movie's over. Ouch. That that goes away. If wow. you're doing yoga, that goes away. Does yoga build strength, flexibility, or bounce, or all oh three, gosh. or how does that work? I think that, uh, first of all, getting in touch with who we are, both as a... So the beginning part, okay. Being, and, and then moving into the, the stretching. The okay. gentle, deep stretch, which empowers the muscles to get stronger. You feel like picking up those weights, right? And yes. doing that, doing that uh, little bit of exercise, or a lot of exercise, maybe even grabbing the bicycle. Well, and I, I think my interpretation of that is how do we start some movement, range of motion, and right. then from there build the strength, then from there gain that balance back and the confidence. You're going to stay here. What's so wonderful about what you just said is that it's it's not linear. No. In in our classes, people, uh, and, and I'll, I'll take my wonderful fam, friend Barbara, I'm sure yes. she wouldn't wouldn't mind me She's bragging about her. She's in Europe, I think, now. She's traveling somewhere. She's sitting at the edge of our chair with our core strong. We back towards the chair. She would always... Oh, fall. Okay. Now she said, "Wow!" And and it was, it was that moment that aha. So she now she holds her balance better. She has better strength because she's built it over time. She has, and four years plus in in class. I am so proud of her. (laughs) (laughs) I do get excited because it's fun. And how come? And sometimes with injuries, does yoga help recover from injuries too? Speedy sometimes. Okay. It's, it's incredible because shoulder injury. Oh boy! And, I, and what do we do with our range of? We close it yeah. down. We're very pain. So we stop moving. We want to very gently stretch. Right when you feel that pain in yoga mm. is where you go. Oh, there's my working spot That's right it. there. That's your tolerance right there. Stop. Right there. there. Let's stop. Let's breathe. It. Let's even back out. Good. And breathe, and then just approach it again. And then people come back to class and they say, hey, hey, hey. Look at this. And they're moving. The body is your best friend. Huge. Right, Your Tony? body will tell you exactly what to do. Your body will. Not mine, not anyone else's. You know mm-hmm. your body. Once you've learned with yoga and other things, too, what your body can tolerate, work to that tolerance, Yep. back it off a little bit, and gain that flexibility strength and work a little bit more, a little bit more, a little more. What does that do for our self-confidence? Huge. It's huge. Over the top. So I, lo- I love any age group. Good. Now, granted, an age group of, say, in their 20s is going to come and say, this is too easy. And I say, give it a try. Because yeah. you might find something very deep inside of you that's spiritual. Well, they may want, like I did, a workout. Right. I want. I don't want to lift weights right now. I right. want to do a workout with yoga. Mm-hmm. And that's not really the core of what yoga is. I don't... I don't. I, I, I think, you know, the United States, we've done the same thing we do yeah. in everything. We've made yoga an extreme sport. <laughs> We shouldn't You want actually, to come out sweating the whole time. Yeah, and, and, and you can do that, and that is appropriate. <laughs> yes. But most of the time, if you want to get to know and you're, you're just taking that step up and moving into something new like yoga or retrying it after yes. I get a lot of students that say, I haven't done it in 30 years, uh, you don't necessarily want to do extreme sport yoga. No. Okay. So I usually usher them to some of the other classes. <laughs> and I think a lot of going back to injuries too, right. by gaining range of motion, you're preventing scar tissue, preventing arthritis, which can be permanent over time. So you're getting people to rehab properly right. to get, again, back to their life back, even from an injury. Arthritis. What a, yeah. yeah. So scar tissue and arthritis, is that hand to hand? It is. It, it, in my sense, when someone has surgery or an injury, Scar tissue is the inflammation in there becoming more solid. Oh, the arthritis, yeah. in my mind, is the bone spurs that you see on an x-ray or an MRI okay. that have become more permanent. 
So if you have scar tissue, that's the first time you can break that up slowly you can with over yoga, time, with range of motion, over with movement. Time. And I would say, give it a ch give you a chance. That's what I'd say. That's huge. Give you a chance. You you will absolutely be so impressed with your body because your body finally says, "Oh, we're on the same team." And You're not really what resisting. And with yoga versus exercise, physical exercise, mm -hmm. working out, say with weights. Or things like that. How is that different? You know, I think that is a it's a, it's a cross training. Okay, okay. So I love to say, listen, you're getting to the point where you're strong enough. Get out there and get get to the gym and do those yes. weight lifts. Be a little mindful if there's still some confidence level and body's saying, hold on. Yeah. But but then come back to yoga and work it out and and do the stretches and the breath and then finding that your quality of life is impressive. Well, Definitely and then if you're doing weights, is it making the muscles tighter or looser? Well, when you're stretching, obviously you have to, after you've contracted those muscles, how many uh, gentlemen and ladies go, ah. Yeah. Oh, especially gentlemen. Especially gentlemen. <laughs> think. I wasn't going to say it. I did a video with uh, Gentrell <laughs> in, in Rancho, and we just, I just did a short video of his, is guys suffer from flexibility. So especially yeah. with guys, because yeah. they're not flexible, then they cause injuries by lifting heavier weights. And sadly, of the of the percentage of gentlemen that come to yoga, yeah. I think there is a misconception Huge. that it's it's oh it's, that's for 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 you know those Weenies. who are faint of heart or yeah yeah <laughs> Weenies. Sorry. but I'm guaranteeing you gentlemen, and I have stories to tell on another video perhaps of, of how much progress we can make. It's hard. When you first start yoga as a guy who lift weights myself a couple years ago, really? it was the hardest thing I did. That was my hardest class every week wow. because I didn't stretch enough and I didn't know how to stretch properly. So my job was how do I continue doing yoga to make my strength better and better and better and make my endurance better and better and better. And again, Excellent. prevent injury too. That's my biggest thing. If you can prevent injury by yoga or something else, do it please. That's when you have the balance of physical health being is helping a triad of flexibility, endurance, and strength together. That's how you get all three to get higher and higher and higher over time so your body can stay healthy and hopefully prevent injury and not have those health conditions. Beyond physical um, benefits of yoga, we talked about some of the psychological benefits. Is there anything medically or physiologically a benefit of yoga? I believe that the circulation is so important we can say that uh, shout it from rooftops yes if you're not circulating all the way through you're not getting rid of the toxins yep. the inflammation just stays there and hurts <laughs> and if you keep that there can that cause cancers oh yeah that's inflammatory diseases they say that is a direct link now, huge it's it? not it's not oh, a question it's a scientific it's a fact one-on-one -on -one correlation you have to move the circulator body get the inflammation out break up scar tissue so our body can heal. Wow. You That's know, just when science. You think about that, um, you know, we go to the, we do the yoga for uh, flexibility, strength, and beauty, and How handsomeness, does beauty work? but we don't think about the internal. Yeah. yeah. The, the beauty is when you are breathing into your core, you're finding that you can buckle your blue jeans oh. with ease. Oh. Seriously, Got two it. sizes. Boom, That's went what, okay. down. Wow. Girls, guys. How does that work? I think that your muscles start to, well, you know, I'd rather have a pound of muscle than a pound of fat in my body. Huge. And how many people you see walking around with several pounds of fat? <laughs> and why is, why is a pound of muscle better than a pound of fat? Well, it takes up less stress for the body to have to keep it operating. Yes. Number one. And certainly that fat takes all the stress that you've tried to release in yoga to keep that fat maintained because the body's going to maintain it. It maintains the status quo. So, whatever it has. What are you feeding the fat for? Well, and part of it is when you have better muscle, it burns more calories off. So, overall, body can actually stay healthier with, even with your same diet. Right. Huge. Your same I mean, that right there, well, you could eliminate a yeah, little you more. Yeah, you do It's but... holidays, so obviously we'll do a little bit more than <laughs> usual, hopefully, this time of year. Well, come to yoga for that reason alone, and yeah. you can continue maintaining all those uh, wonderful holiday treats. And I like the core perspective you did with Barbara, too, how her core is stronger, so that help her back pain, help her leg pain, help her sciatica, too. She is doing so good. That's awesome. She's my star. In fact, she gets a happy face on her paper, too. <laughs> I like that. The gold star again. And with your chair yoga, walk me through a chair yoga exercise. 
Um, how would you verbalize it or how would you explain the it? The chair yoga begins That's something where I'd, I'd want someone, if I, if I have a patient who's a senior, right. and go, hey, let's just start you moving better. I want you to work with Victoria initially to learn your balance, get your body to relax, and get some flexibility and strength as you do something. And your confidence. And your confidence. That's huge. Huh? Oh, confidence. huge. We're going to start on the chair. We're going to end on the chair. Okay. And about three quarters of the way through our hour-long class, okay. we're standing up. I was trained in Mayo Clinic's Bone Builders. Oh, okay. So Bone Builders uh, and Mayo Clinic is really coming out with some really interesting research yes. about how if we just do a small little stretch and presses with certain joints, okay. not a 12 lot of motion. steps, not a lot, okay. but just a little, uh, we start to build bone back even into our 90s. Huh. That's the new Is research. that with weight or with no weight? Starting with no weight first. Because none of my girls and guys want to start with the weight yet. They think, oh, well, I can pick up the... And I right. said, put it down. Yeah. Let's just get those moves and you'll feel a lot of... <clears throat> at first, Fantastic. a lot of workout. It's a workout in and of itself to do these interesting moves. So we'll be up. We're going to be doing some balance moves. Okay. We do a, a pose we call the uh, tree pose, okay. but we have a chair right there. So it helps you with us. balance and gain exactly. that Exactly. Then uh, I, I think that once that confidence builds up, you should see him go. Now we're we ready to do you a see their little, eyes pop up. Bit, <laughs> a little bit more. Let's work with two feet on the floor and do just a few of these small hips and shoulders mainly. So you're touching, you're getting people to realize their joints can move independently, not yeah. together. It's amazing what happens to them. I know I have one little lady who's a crossing guard, okay. who all of her little crossing guards had to do a fitness test. Mm. She's been doing my yoga class for almost the whole time, five years. Yes. And she said, well, what's the matter? Touch my toes. And she went down and touched flat-handed on the ground. She's 77 years old. Did she embarrass other color guards that were, or not color guards, but uh, crossing, crossing guards, guards that were actually they, younger? They kind of went... Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> I said, tell them to come to class with me. <laughs> and by doing that, too, her being a little bit older, yeah. preventing injuries. Yeah. I worry about a, an older lady stepping off the curb and then breaking her hip. Exactly right. Got some more stories someday about that one, too, because I had one of those. Mm, okay. She didn't break her hip. Really? So she, she fell? She fell. Nose first. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Hip. Down no. the road, three bounces, I went, oh, no, nothing, wow. nothing. And we had been doing the bone builder hip and yes. shoulder. It's amazing. It was so great. And by doing yoga, what I'm seeing big time is, yeah. is the long-term yoga. What, what's a good window to start feeling the improvement? You know, in average. some cases, after the first class, okay. seriously. Okay. But if there is something chronic, it didn't take you one class yeah. to get there. One day or two days. Yeah. Many people, my Vietnam War, war vet, yeah. you know, how many years ago. So, uh, yeah, you're just going to have to work it out. But work it out, you will. Your body is your best friend. And what do you want to feel with yoga in the sense where once you've done a few classes and, and into it, where this is part of your routine weekly or biweekly or triweekly, yes, at that point, what are you looking for someone to feel? I think the joy is lifted. And okay. to, to put it, the, the mood is elevated and the sleep. How many of us are having sleep oh, issues? I okay. can't even tell you how much better. After my evening class, and I have two evening classes that we do go to the floor. Yes. And I have some of these elders that come to that class. Yes. Gentle stretch. They say, good night, Victoria. I'm off to <laughs> sleep. They said that's the two nights they sleep so well. Why is that? I think it's breath. I think it's releasing of some of the stress and tension from their week. Yes. If they haven't come, you know, about once a week. And uh, just literally having that sense of oh, accomplishment. I did this. I and did and this. even going to class myself, too, yeah. talking about people that are not seniors, just even 20s and 30s and 40s, yeah. people that go to the, what's the last part of yoga that you normally do with people when they're on the floor? Is it well, a relaxation period? Or relaxation. That? That we've had a guided meditation. Okay. Okay. Uh, we earn it by sitting up and stretching down, counting to 30, using our core. They're nice. so happy to get down. <laughs> and the, the down pose is called corpse pose. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. We have bolsters and we okay. slide them under their knees. Talk them up with blankets, wow. and I use a little uh, essential oil. Of course, I make of course. a little sachet essential oil and give it to each of them. Perfect. They love it, 
And so for 15 minutes, there's such a release. Do they Even fall asleep the in class? They do. Tears. We have okay. had release of wow. tears. Emotional wow. release. Okay. Mental release where they just absolutely stop chatting with the monkeys and the mind. At that point, you shut down everything up here yeah. so that the spinning wheel stops spinning. It's, and they're, they're right here in the room. So they're in the present, in the now. They're right now. Wow. Well, and you can stay there. You can learn to, to, to keep there. And that takes time to, to get there and it's keep there. It's a habit. Correct. With okay. any good habit, it takes time. Yeah. But like I say, it didn't take you one day to get where we are now. Exactly. Let's... let's uh, and we're almost supposed to be there as, I don't want to say humans, but it's hard for us in our daily lives because we're so busy sometimes mm. to get there. So by, we talk to ladies who went to your class twice a week. They come home and they've shut everything down. They've yeah. gotten back to their their point of being in the now. It's great. At that point, they go, my rest week will be easier. And now they tolerate I, more stress through their week, so their body stays healthier, too. I, I'm assuming. I love that. Not only that, but I give them little assignments. You know, What's you that? can't take the teacher out of the teacher. Okay. <laughs> of course. Of course. Um, when you're doing dishes, I want you to do dishes on your toes. Oh, okay. So you have homework. Homework. And so they'll come back and say, I tried that homework. Uh, one homework was tiptoe across the living room and back. So they tiptoe. The other... What? Well, these are seniors. These yes. are not just younger people. These are seniors. Wow. And they tiptoe across. They uh, stand doing uh, in the bank line in tree pose with their le leg, uh, one foot on, their, on the inside. I want to see knee. that. <laughs> I want to see that. It's, I'm going to go, this is Victoria's, one of her clients. And That's they awesome. come back and they <laughs> say, look at this. And they show me. It's a little different because you're not in your home environment exactly. where you really know your carpet and you yeah, know yeah. how to stand. But, uh, there's but having that job. confidence, you can actually do it. That's it. That is the big picture. That's the confidence. That's it. That's good. Anything else you want to add for our first video, Victoria? Uh, I'm just I'm very grateful to, to Dr. Tony mm -hmm. here. He is, uh, he, he's got the, the karma... Karma moving in the right Trying direction. We're best. all talking karma. I realize that's a Sanskrit word. Also, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> good, good, <laughs> can't get good. it out. But uh, but but let's let's do this this wonderful physical with really physical feet. Let's do mind, body, spirit. There's a lot of spirit with very physical feet, and let's make sure those feet don't hurt. And a lot of it is, and, and for me to wrap it up is, I want to feel good. I work out a lot to feel good psychologically and de-stress my body. Oh, yeah. By yoga, that allows the same process mm. so you can tolerate more stress. You can do more things and, and be confident so your body can stay healthy overall. Because a little bit of stress isn't bad. No. Well, you know, well, we need that to stay motivated, right? Right. We're still right. alive that way. So it, it, it's the quality of life that I think you're seeking. Huge. I really do. In the video notes, I'm going to put uh, Victoria's information, her cell, phone, her cell phone number, and also her, uh, her Instagram and Facebook too. She needs you to see her. At that point, you'll understand how these people can do a tree pose in the bank. It's amazing. <laughs> it's Let's great. See how it goes. All right. Actually, other people do. They start to look around and like, do it too. Give them cards to pass out. That's right. Me. All right. That's cute. Anything okay. else? Thank you. You're welcome. I am I'll see you in the gratitude. next one. Thank you. See you the next one. See how things go. Thank All you. All right. Thank you for that. So, quick and spine show. We'll see you next video, <laughs> and we'll see you soon.